All right, this is a game idea that I got from a uh, another PE teacher who teaches in my district. It's a good throwing and catching game. I play it with second, third, fourth, and fifth graders. And uh, we call this game the Wild Wild West. Now, the, the way it's called Wild Wild West is because these students here, these players and the White Stars, are called the Cowboys and Cowgirls. And... <clears throat> These students here, marked by the Red Stars, are the Buffaloes. And the Cowboys and the Cowgirls are trying to get the Buffaloes. So, on the signal, what they do, what the students do, the Buffaloes, is they have to run in a circle. They have to run in a circle. So, on the signal, they would, this Buffalo would run in this direction and then this buffalo would run in this direction and this one this one would run out this direction and so on so they keep running in a circle doesn't matter if they go clockwise or counterclockwise it's completely up to you but the only point is is they have to run outside the mats so these blue squares here are the mats this is a mat and this is a mat okay now the goal is for the Cowboys and the Buffaloes, Cowboys, Cowgirls, and the Buffaloes to try and get as many points as they can. Right? This is, a, as I said, this is a, a throwing and catching game. So, it, these, and uh, let me backtrack a little bit. Um, before the game starts, as it describes on the blog, you need to group, uh, group each student into pairs. So there's groups of two. So they'll, so the Cowboys. The cowgirls will be grouped with the person who starts as the buffalo. And obviously if you have odd numbers, then you can have groups of three. Now on that note, so let's say this star, this player, this cowboy, was a partner with this buffalo. On the signal, when they run, their job is to try and throw a yarn ball to their partner who is then trying to catch it. So this partner would try and throw a yarn ball or any type of foam ball that you would like something that's easily catchable to their partner if they catch it while they are moving before it touches the ground their partner and them get one point then this student would have to keep running so after they've already got one point then this uh, student would relocate So we'll move him over here. Let's say this star relocated here. Okay, then this same partner, this same partner here, same one who just threw it would now then have to try and find another yarn ball and throw it back to their same partner who is now in a different position. And <clears throat> then if they caught it, they would get two points. Now the way I play it is their job is to try to get to five points so they need to make five catches and then they rotate from buffaloes to cowboys and cowgirls and then they proceed with the same process trying to get to five points five catches in a row without the ball touching the ground and you keep going and um, you can either play it with three to four minutes if you want you can do this as a quick warm-up me on the other hand I play it with my older kids working on throwing and catching as they're running um, I set a goal where the kids try to reach maybe 30 points, see who can all get to 30 points and things like that. Um, some concerns with this game is to make sure that the kids are not throwing the ball at each other. This is not a dodgeball. They are trying to work together as teammates and make a good throw so their partners can try and catch it. And um, you can do overhand, underhand, anything like that. And uh, more information on this game will be on my blog. Thank you.